Okay, so here we go. Um, this is going to be turn one. The German's objective is that house there, off to the left. And the Germans are on the board within about five hexes of the map edge. I placed them into two groups. Um, that will make it easier um, during the impulse phase and action phase to um, get them moving and I won't have to use as many um, impulses uh, to get them across the board. So until they come under fire or have to enter open terrain, I will probably go ahead and keep them in the two stacks. Um, this is not a practice that I like, but I think that this is going to be the best thing um, initially just to get them moving towards the objective. They do have several terrain features to their advantage initially. Um, there's some rough here, some scrub here. There is a hill that will block line of sight. However, this is a depression, so that's not going to do them any good until they can actually get to the depression. Uh, just some trees and a little bit more rough and then the building itself. So um, they're going to have to move fast and quick and then uh, once they start coming under fire they will go ahead and disperse. So. Okay, so first things first, we're going to draw a sequence chip. This will tell me who gets the uh, first impulse. And it looks like it's going to be the Russians. However, I'm not going to do anything with them. I'm just going to leave them over at unknown, on the unknown positions over there on their side of the map. Um, once they can demonstrate a line of supply to my, or line of supply, line of sight to my units, then I will probably start moving them at a, at their normal movement rate, assuming that they were upright and had the movements and stuff. So, um, let's draw the second chit. Um, also, units that were suppressed would become unsuppressed of the opposing player um, at that time. And I think stunned units, that's at the end of the turn, I think they go to suppressed status. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, second chit is, an, is the Germans. So now that gives him uh, two impulses. Um, and like I said, that can be <clears throat> two actual units, two stacks of units, um, etc., etc. So to make this easy, um, if any of my stacks, or if any soldier moves four movement points in one turn, or spins them in one turn, he's considered running. Um, but it does cost to change facing and all that, so um, we're probably just going to advance at a normal um, standing walk, basically. So I'm going to spend one of my uh, activations to move this stack. One, two, and three. They don't have enough uh, movement points to go prone or even into a, well they could probably go into a crouch um, prone to a crouch I believe is only two or from a stand I guess it is to a crouch it's still gonna cost two so they don't have enough to do that and the second activation will be the second stack they're gonna go one two and to enter the rough uh, let's see. And let's see here. Um, yeah, I know this is pretty simple here. Just a moment here. Wait. 
Well, it is uh, rough terrain. I guess that's basically the same as hedge, hill, depression, fence. I don't see a category just for rough, so I don't know if it might just be enter a new hex. So in that case, they're going to go... I'm going to spin two and halt them right there uh, until I can find uh, find any uh, rules saying that they uh, have to spin more or less. So that's basically that activation. Okay, the next chip that I drew was a German um, sequence chip. And I did find out that uh, rough terrain doesn't cost any extra movement points to move through. So <clears throat> that's why I went ahead and marked this group with a running marker. It's kind of hard to see, but the R is up at the top. Um, that uh, signifies that they ran that turn. These guys, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, they could have moved up an extra hex and they would also be marked with a run marker. So they all, both stacks spent four movement points and that would be considered running. I think they're probably gonna do that again, um, just to advance a little faster. I checked line of sight and the only units, uh, the only, sorry for jerking around there, is that unit over there was the only unit that had a line of sight to either of my units um, after the first uh, impulse so or find him again and it chose not to shoot so well it doesn't have an impulse it doesn't have an impulse that it can shoot at yet but anyway that was the only unit that it were in line of sight and I'm not going to reveal it yet until it fires or they get closer that's kind of a judgment call anyway uh, I'm going to go ahead and move these guys up four and they'll maintain their uh, run status. The only thing rough does is it gives a um, penalty to fire for units in rough. So one, two, three, four, and the same with this, the second, Im the second uh, impulse. Two, three, four. And that does it for the um, second sequence chit. Um, for the Germans, so we'll see see what happens next. Okay, I think I might have misspoke. Uh, um, it's moving four, entering four new hexes is considered running, not spending four of your uh, movement factors or whatever. So I think I did that right, um, since everything's cost them one so far. Um, I think I, I think that's correct. Well, the next chip that I drew was Russian, and they chose not to do anything. They're holding their fire. Um, so the next chip after that is German. So we're going to move on up. Um, I'd like to get this stack into one of these depression hexes. So that'll block line of sight no matter what. This stack um, is now protected pretty much by the hill and the building over here um, to the northeast of the picture, which is not included at this time. So the only problem is they'll still be upright or standing, and I don't think that will affect the line of sight for the depression. The hill shouldn't matter, so I think we can. I think we can do it. Excuse me. So the first impulse, we're activating this stack. One, two, and it's one for the hex side plus one to enter the hex. So that's three, four. And these guys for the second impulse, activating the stack. One, two, three, and four. So they all entered uh, four new hexes, except this stack didn't enter four new hexes. So they're no longer running. But uh, I think they're blocked from line of sight from anybody at the moment, um, according to the rules anyway, in the basic game. So that 
leaves, just one more chit, and that's going to be the Russian chit. Sequence chit B and I don't think that there's anything the Russians can see or hit at this time. I think I'm gonna activate the Russians next turn and let them start moving up. Uh, now that they pretty much have an idea that the Germans are advancing towards the building or bypassing it. So anyway, that is the end of turn one uh, just let you know that at the end of the turn we take care of we remove speed units we remove suppress status uh, and it goes and it's gone stun status goes to suppression and that's basically it so I'll remove the uh, movement marker here. They're no longer running. And that's it for turn one. So I will see you later.